So, okay, don't panic. If you just saw EA start downloading the latest Sims 4 update and you're worried it's about to break your mods or your save, you can stop it right now before anything installs. Players all over my personal community and in general have been seeing so, so, so many issues. But the good news is, if you catch it while it's downloading, nothing has changed yet. Canceling the download is perfectly safe and I'll show you exactly how to do it. In this video, I'll walk you through canceling the update, switching EA to offline mode, and then jumping back into your game without that update or any, for that matter, messing with anything. So let's jump right into it. First, if you're already running EA and the update's already started, click the up arrow next to the time on the bottom right hand area. Right click the EA icon once you see it and immediately hit exit. Now, you can relax a bit because this avoids the app causing mayhem while you're watching this video. Now, whenever you're ready, go ahead and try to open the EA app again. Now, if you open The Sims 4 and your EA app seems to be loading a bit longer and you see a circle, your Sims 4 says update and then immediately goes into updating, look in the bottom left hand corner. You'll see The Sims 4 with updating and a percent. Even with really fast internet, this is going to take a little bit, so you have time, don't panic. Once you click on it, you should see the pause and stop button, the X. Go ahead and click the X button to cancel the update. Click yes to wanting to cancel the download for TS4. Now we're going to create a frozen copy of your game. This is going to keep it safe even if the game updates and you accidentally get updated. Note, this is only going to work if the game you're currently playing is already able to open, can select worlds, and essentially problem free. This won't work if the game is already broken. So first of all, you're going to want to go ahead and open the EA app and open the settings menu. Go to download and hit edit next to the install location. This should snap you directly to the file folder on the pop-up, highlighting the exact folder that EA is playing games from. From here, go ahead and right click the folder and select copy as path from the menu. That's the fastest way to go directly to the folder here in a bit. Go ahead and close this little folder selection box and minimize EA for now. Open up a file folder and right click and paste or control V to paste the path from earlier. This is going to put the path in here in quotes. So remove the quotations from the beginning and end of the path and then hit enter. You should be able to find your The Sims 4 folder inside of here and right click it. Select copy and then right click in the empty space and click paste. This is going to create a kind of one-time use backup copy of your game. Hit continue with the shield and either click yes on the next pop-up window or enter the username and password of an account that has admin rights on your machine. Later, I'll show you how to use it in the event that your game gets updated without your permission. Now that we have a copy of your game, go ahead and pull EA back out and head over to the settings menu and click go offline. Quick note here, this is only going to work if your game was playable before. If you had issues before the update, then you're going to have issues even going offline since this doesn't fix issues related to the game already not working. If you're having issues with the game, I highly recommend heading over to my Gumroad page or my Patreon to get help with your game issue. Check out this commercial. Working with EA support and their forums can be a bit of a gamble and you might get help or you might not. And if you play with mods like I do, you're not even officially supported. That's why I offer a dedicated service where I take care of all the heavy lifting for you. Through remote sessions, I work directly with you to solve your Sims 4 issues, whether it's fixing a game that won't load, moving your game or save files to another drive, troubleshooting mods, or tackling any other technical issues with your game. I handle all the hard work so you don't have to, making sure your game runs as smoothly as possible. Check out the description for more details on how to subscribe and get your Sims game fixed today. And by the way, this isn't just for Sims 4 players. If you're still enjoying the charm of The Sims 3, I can help you out there too. Click yes, I'm sure. Now, go ahead and click the blue play button and your game should start up pretty soon. So now for how to use your backup if you ever need it in the future for say, an unsuspecting update hits you. Now, if you followed this video to a T, you should see the EA Games folder or whatever folder you had created a backup of a while back. It has both the Sims 4 folder and a The Sims 4 copy folder. This copy is going to be our lifeboat in this case. Now, to use the backup, we're going to need to make sure that every EA app is terminated. If you don't do this, EA won't let you rename the folder called The Sims 4. 
Now click the folder and you can either click a second time in the file name and it'll let you edit it, or you can right click and click rename. Any option here is fine. You can add an ending to the folder that lets you know that this was like the old folder, like the Sims 4.old, the Sims 4.ea sucks, or my personal favorite, the Sims 4 EA updated my game without my permission, and so I don't want anything to do with their nonsense. <laughs> Once you've finished updating the folder name, hit the enter key. It's going to give you a folder access denied message stating you'll need to provide administrator permission to rename this folder. Hit continue with the shield and either click yes on the next pop-up window or enter the username and password of an account that has admin rights on your machine. So, to complete this, you'll simply rename The Sims 4 Copy to just The Sims 4. I didn't record it at this stage, but if you wanted to keep yet another backup of this in case EA updates it again, you'll create a copy of this new The Sims 4 folder, which will make yet another The Sims 4 Copy folder. But this is completely up to you. Now, you can open EA and start up The Sims 4. Being that hopefully you canceled the update from earlier, EA should recognize that you don't want to update it yet again and should give you the installation complete in the bottom left hand corner and not be updating. If it seems to try to update again, simply stop it. Click the three bars in the top left corner and go down to go offline and click yes I'm sure. Press play on The Sims 4. And because I'm really big about proof of concept pieces, I'll show you that this is running directly from the new folder we renamed. I'll run the small command that lets me examine the process TS4 underscore X64, and you can see that it's running from the new The Sims 4 folder we renamed earlier. And just to prove it further, you'll see the date modified columns show that the newest folder, The Sims 4, is actually the one from 8.59 today, and the EA updated without my permission folder was last modified November 11th of 2024, quite some time ago. You'll also see all of the files and folders inside, including the game EXE itself, were created tonight during this tutorial. And there you have it, how to stop updating The Sims 4 safely and get a backup of your game before EA ruins it. Until next time.